Hi, and welcome to Bounce Forward with me, Tip Hall. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which I'm recording this podcast, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to elders past and present. Fiona slid into my DMs and she asked me a great question. Cardio is a real trend at the moment. I like to eat breakfast before I go for a run, but my friend said I'll burn more fat if I eat after my run. Now I'm so confused. What should I do? This is such a great question. And I've touched on this throughout the podcast, but I think we can't talk about it enough. So what we're talking about here is the trending debate over fed or fasted cardio. Should you eat before or after cardio to maximize results? Great question. So short answer. Yeah. If you don't eat before your run, you'll burn more fat during the run. That particular exercise period itself you will burn more fat in that window. That is true. But we have to remember that the fat burning is not the same thing as losing body fat. It's only part of the equation. Fat balance is determined by fat stored minus fat burned. So yes, if you don't eat before you run, you will burn more fat during the time you're running. However, your body compensates by reducing your fat oxidization, fat burned for the remainder of the day. It slows it down. So if you eat before you run, and you're in a fed state, you'll burn less fat on the run, but your body composition will be burning more fat for the remainder of the day. It's mind-blowing. I I find the body is such a smart, wet machine. It's amazing. So generally, if you're doing high-intensity exercise, anything where you can't hold a conversation whilst doing it, your body needs to use carbs for fuel to produce ATP, which is energy, right? Or it won't be able to maintain that high intensity. So you'll find yourself fatiguing a lot faster if you haven't had anything to eat. When you train fasted, your body is put into a catabolic state, which means you're expecting and asking your body to rely on fuel stores from energy. So yesterday's dinner, for example, what you ate the night before, but if you've got nothing in the tank, and some of us don't, if you ate really early dinner or whatever, and you don't have anything in the tank, then it's going to look to your muscle and it's going to eat away at your muscle, which is really bad because at all costs, we want to preserve our muscle. It's so important for longevity. So if you don't have some fuel in your tank, you won't perform as well and you won't have a good run and you will just be like, oh, that was a really terrible running session. I feel fatigued. I feel lightheaded. And if you had have had something to eat and drink, you would have had a greater session, you know. But what if I love running super early before breakfast? That's something that people always ask me. Am I meant to have a a full big breakfast at 5 a.m. before I hit my run before work? If you train early, you don't have to eat a massive breakfast. I know it's early in the morning, but something, please, something, heck, like a banana with some honey and a pinch of salt to help the water and the hydration, Um, a couple of dates, a protein ball, a smoothie. It doesn't matter. Just eat something for me. There was a systematic review that demonstrated that one of the studies done showed little difference in fat loss between fed or fasted cardio. And fasted cardio is not better than fed cardio. It really comes down to personal preference at the end of the day. If you love having the energy of eating before you run, then do it. There isn't much difference between the fed and fasted cardio, but with regard to fat loss and muscle preservation, daily caloric intake and metabolic rate, you got to weigh up all of those things. But what really matters is you. And some people feel lighter and more energized if they go for a run on an empty tummy, whereas others will feel dizzy and lightheaded. It really doesn't matter. It does come down to you. And if you're loving having brekkie before you go for your run and your friend doesn't and prefers to be on an empty tummy, it doesn't matter. You matter the most. And so the fed and fasted debate will continue. But a lot of studies are coming out saying there is no difference. And we have to really look at the science when we're talking about this one. Brooke had a great question this week. She wanted some recommendations for quick food before after workouts. I hate protein shakes, she said, but want to be replenishing after running around with two little kids to care for. So fair enough. I get it. Two little ones. It's busy. It's chaos. You have to be prepped and you have to be organized and make sure that you set aside some time to eat and that you're eating the right things. Now, eating the right 
foods before a workout can really help to maximize your performance and minimize discomfort because I know there's nothing worse than doing like a hit workout and feeling like you're going to vomit because you've eaten too much or you've had the wrong thing and it hasn't digested right. So ideally, focus on foods that are rich in carbohydrates, moderate in protein for muscle support and low in fat and fiber to avoid digestive issues. So I've got some of my favorites here. I've written a little list. Number one, I love banana with peanut butter. Oh, it's the best. A classic, easy to digest option that combines quick carbs from the banana with a little protein and healthy fats from the peanut butter. Win-win. Then I love Greek yogurt with mixed berries, provides a good mix of protein and carbohydrates, and you've got the antioxidants in the berries, which can help reduce workout-induced oxidative stress, right? Then I really love oatmeal with sliced fruit, offers slow-releasing energy from the oats and quick sugar from the fruit, making it really ideal for those longer workouts. Whole grain toast with avocado. I love apple slices with almond butter. Nice balance of carbs and protein there, plus the almond butter with a dose of healthy fats. And homemade energy bliss balls. Mix of oats, protein powder, peanut butter, and honey. Really easy. You can customize them, add in chia seeds, flax seeds, whatever you love. So simple to eat a little bliss ball before you go and train. Rice cakes with hummus, smoothies, so spinach, banana, and protein powder, or you can sub out the protein powder because I know you said you didn't like the protein powder for cottage cheese or yogurt. A handful of dried nuts and fruit if you're pressed for time. Just a small serving really helps you and it's really perfect. Now, timing does matter. So you want to be eating 30 to 60 minutes before a workout. Choose snacks that are higher in simple carbohydrates and lower in fat and protein for quicker digestion. And you can opt for meals or snacks that include more complex carbohydrates and protein if you're eating two hours before your workout. But everyone's different. Everyone's got a different digestive system. So it's important to experiment with timings and food choices and see what really suits you. And remember, hydration is also really key. But then let's talk about after a workout. So after a workout, it changes a little bit. You want to be consuming high protein foods after a workout because that's going to help your muscle to repair and bring on the growth, right? And so here are some quick protein faves of mine. Greek yogurt. Love it. Um, Packed with protein, available in low-fat versions. You know, you can consume it plain or with mixed fruit, drizzle of honey. It's fantastic. Cottage cheese, I love it. It's really high in casein and protein and it's slow for digestion. Really great for muscle recovery. Protein shake, of course, or smoothie. And you don't have to put the protein powder in there. Yogurt and cottage cheese work just as well. I love hard-boiled eggs. Tuna and chicken salad is a classic turkey or chicken breast slices, um, quinoa salad, ricotta cheese with honey and almonds, and protein bars. I've got homemade protein bars. A lot of those recipes are in my book, Snack Power. And while protein is crucial, you, you can't neglect those carbs because it's the carbohydrate that helps to transport that protein to the muscle. So you want to be making sure that you're having a moderate amount of carbs in your post workout meal as well. And timing wise, you want to try and get that meal in about 45 minutes after you've trained whilst the muscles are repairing. So experiment with food and timings and see what works for you the best and then you can really nail down your nutrition and do a really good job of it. Thanks so much for listening to Bounce Forward. I love having your company. So please DM me on Instagram at tiffhall underscore XO and let me know what questions you'd love me to cover. Don't forget to rate and review me on your podcast app. Speak soon. Happy days.